I actually don't know why I do this to myself all the time. I was recording for like a good five, six minutes, and then I realized I wasn't even recording with voice. <sighs> okay, here we go again. So, the outfits that are doing well in this event is Dream Wedding. It's from the Happiness event, the Guardian of Purity, which is the Recharge Unicorn set, and Steel Lily, which you can get from the store, but it requires diamonds. So these three, if you mix and match it, um, they'll do really well in this competition. As you can see, I, I have like the Steel Lily boots or whatever, and then I actually didn't use any of the other two outfits because I found that I like this better. And then, yeah, so we can go to the hair first. So for the hair, we have grass harp, so that would look like this. This would be a good idea. I've seen the actual Steel Lily work well, if you want, and you can, you can get it for like coins. So um, if you don't have grass harp or the other ones, you can use that. You can use stars fishing, which looks really good actually. And then any like colored hair, you can just use violin poet. And it works pretty well, pretty well, but not too well. So it's any light colored hair right now. But the coat, it would be the steel armor. So the problem with the steel armor is that it costs 102 diamonds. If we go here, you can see that it is 102 diamonds. Oh, or it could be, it would be 120 diamonds for uh, people who are V0. And the problem with this is that I know my viewers have heard this a lot, but this is for my newer viewers. And it's that if you want to spend like 400 diamonds, because along with the dress right here, 346, or it would be around 400. So that would be 520, 520 diamonds in order to get a high ranking to get more diamonds. Is it really worth it? Because you get just 20 diamonds back. So you kind of have a net deficit of 500 diamonds. So that's up to you. In my opinion, I think that it's not worth it because I don't really like this outfit that much. I can't really use it anywhere else beside the competition. And I'm just going to say something real quick right now. After the Hoarders event, I'm actually quite happy with this type of um, competition because I know it's boring, like it's polarized, everybody looks like, like the same thing, but or, or kind of the same thing because they all have the same dress and stuff. But it's much easier to figure out what you actually need to do in order to get a high ranking because for Hoarder, I felt like I was just like trying to be lucky to get even like 5%. So this one, at least I know what I need to do. And okay, let's go to Moonlit Dream. So that would be the dress. Wait, that's not Moonlit Dream. Oh, right. I don't have Moonlit Dream because I didn't buy it yet. But it's the, the one that this girl is wearing. So this is from the Recharge event. And then the next one would be Pure White Eternity, and that was from the Happiness event, right here. And then it would be Choice of Steel. So for that one, as you remember, it would cost around 400 diamonds for you guys, unless you have like a V whatever discount, and it's quite expensive. So you can think about that. I've actually seen the Stars Vision, let me just show you guys. Or is it called Nebu? No. Cos Cosmo? The unitard from this one has actually been working, so you guys can think about that. Because when this is paired with semitone interval, um, I think that it's 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 kind of a good choice if you don't have anything else. As for the hosier, we have the stockings right there, and then the shoes would be right where are they? The ones I'm wearing here. And the thing is, is that the good well the good things about these two is that you can get these for about I don't know, like 52,000, oh, probably more, like maybe 60,000 coins if you don't have a VIP discount. And coins are something that I find that are easy to come by, like much, much more easy to come by. So I would choose uh, these ones to put in my outfit. As you can see, I don't have anything else because I'm too poor to buy it and I don't feel a need to. But just so like warning for you guys out there, if you guys plan to use the boots and the hosiery and you don't have it yet like you're planning to buy it but then you're also planning to use the dress like <laughs> once the dress is on you can't really see what's underneath so you might not even need to buy the hosiery and the shoes if you have like a big dress like this because honestly even the socks you might not need because if you have anything that's long like this the socks are already gone so you can just like get away with 
um, even just getting the shoes. See, you eat, like you can barely see the socks ever. And then we can go to the makeup. The makeup's my favorite. There is Illusion of Mist, which is this one you can get. I've seen Shed Tears work. Um, what Another good one is actually, where is it? She's sleeping. There's Awakening Spring, but the actual sleeping one from the Guardian of Pit Purity. It's called Whisper. Moth to Flame also works pretty well. But this, so Moth to Flame is this one. But Echo of Galaxy, these two, they also work. So whatever, like, I guess like a soft look. So anything with like closed eyes or a light colored eye or a slight smile will do, do pretty well. Like another example would probably Meditative Moon from the Pavlon. So do I have that? I don't think I do. Give me a sec. Medi no, I don't. So there's that one if you guys have it. And then for the hat. I actually bought it because I have a lot of crystal roses and then I didn't particularly want to like want to complete any of these suits so I just went ahead and bought the hat for this. This one has okay so before this if I just had that outfit like this outfit without the hat it would be like top 15%. Once I put the hat on I jumped like 10% so I'm at like top 4%. It's up to you if you want to get it because crystal shoes are hard to come by. It's just one competition. It's not really like worth it if you're only going to use it once. But I kind of liked it, so I didn't mind buying it. And as for the handheld, we want anything that is sword related. So it would be the Hope Sword from Steel Lily. That again, you need to purchase with diamonds and it's quite expensive, I believe. Let me just check it out real quick. Oh, I see it. It was right here. So it's another 107 diamonds. Oh, by the way, if you didn't want to eat, buy the headpiece that I saw in the association store, you could just consider buying this one because you can just get it with diamonds. I mean, sorry, coins. But the Hope Sword right here, that's one that I see, which I'm not going to buy because I'm poor. The Scythe is something I can get, but it's from the Pavlon. So if you guys don't have it, think about something else you can hold or maybe just hold nothing at all. And then the ice sword from the association store. So let me see. Oh, perfect. She has it right here. So you can get this from the association store. And another thing that I just want to say is that I actually do have swords, but it didn't work well at all. Like I had these, but nobody wanted them. I don't know why. They're swords. They look fine. They're silver, but people rather a scythe than a sword. Doesn't make sense because sword is literally in the competition <laughs> theme. As for the background, just make anything with a combination of white, light blue, silver. All of these put together is really nice. Like I love this theme so much because everybody looks like an angel. And wings are optional. They actually don't do as well as I thought they would. I was just lucky this time, but usually with the wings, I don't get a really high ranking because I think it just doesn't fit the theme. Yeah, people would rather have like a unicorn or staircase in the background. So even the Cosmo Tide, this would be um, right here. Give me a second. Time Pilot. So Time Pilot would be the one I have in the back. I just like the look of it because my wings are kind of in the circle. But it's up to you guys. And the floating skulls actually kind of worked because the blue that is associated with them so let's take off Time Pilot right here. It kind of blends in with Time Pilot. Do you see what I mean? So it doesn't look like it's floating that awkwardly. And I like it a lot. If anything, you guys could just get the unicorn in the back and the staircase. I'm pretty sure I have the staircase. Oh, this looks nice. But I'm not going to change it right now because I think I'll be okay here. If I'm not, I'll change it and I'll put the staircase in. But otherwise, I'll keep it at this for now. Because you see I have like the scythe going on and then the throne and then the skulls. So like even though she's pure, she's kind of like, I don't know, evil. But I just thought it was cool. Well, I hope this was helpful. This was one of the easier competitions that I had to explain. And I'm sure a lot of you know that as long as you have one of the three outfits that I mentioned, you're like bound to do well. You just have to keep resubmitting until you actually get a good rank. And I know it sounds really bad, but if you don't have Steel Lily, you need diamonds. And then Guardian Purity, you also need diamonds. So like if you don't have these two, you're going to have a harder time. But like don't worry because at the end of the day, if you look at the reward, 
if we're like top 30% versus like top 10%, that's still a five diamond difference. Yeah, that's a five diamond difference. And I, mean, I know like the crystal rose is much more, but you know, it's not that big of a deal. It's just for you. So whatever you guys want. So let me know if you guys need any help with anything else. I'll have the docs, like the spreadsheet in the description box below. And thank you guys for watching.